Hi, good afternoon, everyone. I am so happy that you all made it. Um, and in this nice Saturday afternoon, I'm going to go through a bit about my experience with the oils. But before I start that, um, I would like to start with a five minute meditation. So I'm just going to put some just a light music. And if you have any oil by your side, um, it could be lavender, it could be peppermint, any oil by your side. So I've got geranium here and sandal. So what I'm going to do is just gonna put a few drops on my hand, scrub it and just smell it. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths in. Try and breathe in all the positive energy in the world. And as you exhale, exhale all the toxins, all the negative energy. And just relax and let go. Okay. Two more deep breaths. So it's so important to ground ourselves, to cleanse the air, to uplift ourselves, our mood. And the best, easiest way is, is inhaling and taking deep breaths in. And it will just inhaling any oil has a massive impact on just shifting our emotions and making us feel good. So before I start, I'd like to share um, a video that um, on Hawaiian sandalwood. Can you hear? believed that in order for a forest to be productive it needed to be protected but that in order for it to be protected it needed to be productive the very limited amount of harvesting and distillation work that we are doing in order to generate the great oils that Nayo and Iliahi produce for Iliahi about 250 trees a year Meanwhile, we're planting how many Iliahi we're a year? We're planting about 30,000 Iliahi a year. That's a pretty good ratio. <laughs> and, and the resources that we get from the oil uh, are put right back into this forest. We are about halfway up the mountain, and this is exciting because we're visiting basically two years to the day. We hosted a thousand wellness advocates from all over the world over two days and they came up to this area 
and did a massive planting project. And these are koa trees, which are native species trees to this area. They're incredibly hardy trees. You can see they grow very fast, which is amazing. Uh, but next to all the koa trees was also planted an iliahi or Hawaiian sandalwood tree. The sandalwood tree is a hemiparasitic tree. It needs a host to grow next to it to provide it nutrients and support through its root system. This is exciting to see the growth and progress. Just in two years, all the trees that have grown that are starting to regenerate and redevelop is really going to bring this forest back to life. We like to plant a koa and an iliahi in the same hole, but you want to give them at least three feet between each other. We have good survival. Our wonderful wellness advocate planters have their survival rate for their trees is over 90%. When you plant them, if you want to, on your phone, either on Google Maps or on the Maps Apple app, you can drop a pin. Okay. So then that's a fun way to remember exactly where you planted it. To be able to plant this here and, you know, in Hawaii, and just keeping it alive and keeping it going and being a part of it, it's just, it's so meaningful. It's, it's beautiful. I'm excited to see what this will look like in a few years. So, excited to come back. <laughs> Really, the theme of our trip has been ola, and which means life. And so, as we planted the koa and the iliahi, you know, we we said ola, and just to be part of this experience and to be part of DoTerra um, in, in this kind of a way on our aina to give back to our aina. That's what. I mean, taking on a word, that word, and sharing it with the world, and that's the deep, deepest meaning. Like we love from the heart, we take care from the heart, and regardless of what it is, yeah, that's how deep Malama is to us, yes. to me, the way I was raised. So, opportunities to reconnect like this, we have the tomorrow piece, and in the tomorrow piece, there's hope. There's hope that our children can live here and thrive here. There's hope that our plants can be here and thrive here, that our birds will come back, and that the songs of our ancestors will return. And that's the yes, that's the tomorrow peace that, you know, being here really allows us to see and feel. That's very touching. Um... It's so nice to see. It's so nice to see um, 
the oil itself. So this is the Hawaiian sandalwood oil and also the communities around it being affected um, and the trees, um, the reforestation, and it's so beautiful. So I hope um, I can share the video with any of you. Um, you can ask me later and I'm happy to share it with you. So oh, this is... Um, So I have actually um, got, I think I've just put the wrong, it, the spirit of Hawaiian sandalwood that I was supposed to put. But anyways, I'll start with the spirit of geranium. So the spirit of geranium, um, it's actually known for its qualities of um, love and abundance. So its temperature is neutral. Geranium's temperature is neutral. Its channels, um, that are affected are the liver, heart, and spleen. And the elements that it affects are wood, earth, and fire. So the physical actions that it helps with geranium is healing wounds, so applying it on the skin, uh, reducing swelling, um, stops bleeding, dries dampness. So I have um, always used geranium um, all throughout uh, what it makes me feel is so good and so powerful so I diffuse it I also apply it on my liver on the right hand side um, before I go to bed and when I when I feel I want to feel uplifted I want to feel um, really nice I just um, go to my geranium it's just um, one of those oils that um, helps with um, cooling down our system cooling down our liver because as you know everything starts from a liver when we hold on to things when we build our emotions the first organ in our body that's affected is the liver so when you actually calm the liver automatically everything else works really well so for example if you're really angry or if you feel really um devastated or you feel um very anxious it really helps calm me down. So I had gone through this. Like I was feeling at one point, feeling so anxious. Sometimes when I get on the plane, I feel very anxious. I feel very um, nervous. So this is an oil that I use when um, I feel like that or when I feel very bloated, very gaseous. Um, applying it on the liver really, really helps. So this is... Um, um Hawaiian sandalwood I actually um have got the properties of Hawaiian sandalwood which I've not got up here but I'm going to share it with you so Hawaiian sandalwood the temperature is warm so if you actually see um if you actually remove um Hawaiian sandalwood and drop it the oil is so thick and it takes like a few seconds. You have to be very patient to actually remove the oil. And the, so the channels that are affected with Hawaiian sandalwood is spleen, stomach, and the heart. And its flavor is kind of sweet, but a bit bitter. And the elements that are affected are earth and fire. And its physical actions are circulation, um, circulating blood, tonifying the spleen and also tonifying the heart. So um, this is um, the sacred wheel. Uh, it's one of the recipes uh, for Hawaiian sandalwood, which I'd like to share with you. So what I did was I actually made a roll bottle. And when I went to work, um, I'd make this roll bottle and then I'll just apply it on my temples, on the bottom of my feet, on my under armpits. Sometimes I'll get hot flushes when I get anxious, I'll feel hot, I'll feel like as if I'm just going to faint. I'll just have all these symptoms come to me all of a sudden. But this roll on bottle was so helpful to me that I'll have it at hand wherever I am, whether I'm at work, whether I'm shopping wherever I am, or in the middle of the night, I'd wake up and at three o'clock and I'll be like, oh my God, I'm feeling so hot um, as if I'm just gonna pass out. So it has always been to my rescue. So what I did was I put a blend of oils. I put Hawaiian sandalwood, um, I'll put lavender, tangerine, rosemary, bergamot, 
And I'll also put coriander, geranium in addition to that, um, fennel, because all these are cooling oils and they help calm the liver plus they help calm the system down. So, and um, it's always good to apply it on the solar plexus as well. So I'd apply it whenever I needed it, uh, once a day, twice a day, three times a day. But also be aware that um, if you do apply any citrus oils, um, they're photosensitive, so you must not be exposed to the sun. So this is um, a sacred wheel roll-on bottle that I called it. And um, so it provides mindfulness and, um, you know, it helps restore order when you're always exposed to chaos. So I'm just going to share a bit about Hawaiian sandalwood. The spirit of Hawaiian sandalwood, it eliminates the sacredness of life and all aspects within it. She is compassionate, elegant, and respectful in not only how she treats herself, but also in how she interacts with the world. Carelessness is the antithesis of Hawaiian sandalwood. She is grateful for all that she has and knows how to take care of her body, soul, loved ones, and home. So as the video that we just saw on Hawaiian sandalwood, this just portrays on how the people around it, what they're doing, the prayers that they did, and how spiritual Hawaiian sandalwood is. She attends to her wheel of life with grace and sophistication. You can witness her state of reverence towards all things at all times, even when no one is looking. The Wheel of Life is a beautiful illustration of the important areas within each of our lives. It includes health, environment, career, stroke business, relationships, personal growth, money, creativity, fun, recreation. So when our Wheel of Life is out of balance, such as, for example, when we're directing too much attention to one thing and neglecting something else, then it is sure going to cause a crash in our lives. And we see this all the time. So those who are great at work but would yet have terrible relationships or those who have beautiful, tidy homes yet lack passion in their creative pursuits. So we are all not perfect. There's always something in our life that is not perfect. So satisfaction and success comes from living a balanced wheel of life, a balanced life, and distributing weight in all areas of our life. So Hawaiian Sandalwood takes her wheel very seriously, and she encourages us to do the same. She strengthens the heart to commit and improves the spleen's ability to distribute time widely across each section. So it helps us balance each and every section of our wheel of life. With her by our side, you no longer desire laziness within your daily habits. You crave purity and precision in manner and delivery. You brush your hair and dress for the day instead of looking like you just rolled out of bed. You clean up after yourself instead of leaving that pile of dirty dishes in the sink. You nourish your body with whole foods. You are intentional and conscious about everything you do for what, for that is what Hawaiian Sandalwood has modeled for you. Some mistakenly see this as being superficial, but in reality, you are careful and respectful for the sacred life you have been given. Hawaiian Sandalwood is holistic in her approach and considers how one aspect of life as affects another. She strives for perfection, not due to shame or overcompensation, but because of heart's desire to honor the divine. So one thing is that Havan Sandalwood is in our Indian medicinal cupboard. It's so precious. It's also when someone passes away the dead body, they put um Havan, they put sandalwood all over the scalp, they put it all over the body, around the body. So all these have, um, you know, it's so spiritual, Hawaiian sandalwood. It's um, just very, very dear. 
So these are some of the other ways of combinations, like combining rosemary with Hawaiian sandalwood brings awareness to other parts of areas in a, a wheel of life. Then adding bergamot, it reveals steps to improve the weaker aspects. Then lavender, adding lavender, it helps with the neglected aspects of a life. So back to geranium. Geranium, as I've gone through all these, how I mentioned about my liver and it, it's so, so cooling. So um, when you have any skin rashes, so I had at one point I had skin rashes. So when I mixed all geranium, Havan sandalwood, coriander, lavender, all these oils, and I apply it on my skin rashes, they'll just calm it down and straight away. I also added Roman chamomile. So that helps cool and reduce any swelling, help with any bleeding and reduce any, um, you know, itchiness. Now, spirit of geranium, it teaches us to open back up to love. And love is so important, love and faith in our lives. Without love, there's nothing. So when you actually love somebody, when you actually, um, you just, harness of your relationship everything will change her sweet nature softens the heart and makes us reconsider the distrust and harsh skepticism we have been holding towards humanity so geranium serves those who often find themselves on the defense questioning the motives of kind gestures they've concluded that nothing is given without expectations or strings attached which is true in our everyday life we always do something for something in return but giving love isn't the problem for them. It is the receiving part that they struggle with. But the way in which we receive affects the way in which we flow. Geranium teaches us the art of receiving love, help, healing, kindness, and support. So for complete life experience with health and harmony alike, the art of receiving must be practiced and must be mastered. So uh, geranium contains flavors of clearing and supportive properties. And hence, it's so important for the liver to soften and release so that the heart has an opportunity to surrender the pain. The liver has a tendency to hold on to grudges and further binds the heart into her protective walls. Unfortunately, this becomes a pathological protection and every person becomes a perpetrator. So geranium is wise in her counsel and guides you to know what is true and what is not. The sweet flavor supports the spleen by nourishing the blood with love. So together they circulate this love to sustain the health of every organ. So when you actually, all this that I'm um, about love and that when you actually use it, you'll feel it. So one great combination, geranium and cypress, it breaks down the heart wall and opens the heart to receive. So it's not just giving love, but it's also the ability to receive. And when you receive, you can give more. So geranium also with grapefruit helps release that resentment from the liver. And geranium with lavender, it gives the discernment to know who is safe to receive from. So this is um another roller bottle that I actually prepared as well. It's um uh, to help tear down the walls of hesitation. Um, I can share the recipe with you if you wish. It's four drops of geranium with cypress, grapefruit, lavender, bergamot, and clary sage. So I use this and apply it on the heart space and also on the wrist on here on the pulse points. And wherever I felt like on the on the armpits, on my temples, on the back of my neck, on the bottom of my feet. And why on the bottom of the feet, on the back of the neck and spine? Because it gets absorbed in the bloodstream within 20 seconds. Yes, 20 seconds. And it's so effective. So, and this helped me um, to calm myself down. It helped me to ground myself and to be able to accept others around me and to be able to, you know, feel that ecstasy of true love. And this can be in the form of a partner, a friend, or even a community, just connecting with others around. So I just want to close by um, to uh, let you know that we have these amazing deals um, available till the 31st of October. 
and because it's really brought really brilliant um it's touched my lives uh, like geranium sandalwood but not only these oils but so many other oils like intune it's helped me to focus black spruce it helps me by diffusing it it helps me feel like i'm in the forest chia is a brilliant oil to make me uh, feel cheered when i actually smell it it's or diffuse it on guard is brilliant oil for immune system star anise for digestion mexican blend for um, Mexican food, guacamole, oils is brilliant to diffuse and, um, you know, so many oils that we have. So like um, we've got digestin, brie, peppermint, lavender, lemon, and all have different, different uses. So if you do have any questions or anything, then um, please do let me know. Thank you to all that um, who have been listening. I will stop the recording and I'll give a chance for